What is up you guys? Welcome to Totally Trendy. That was a fun throwback meme, right? Oh, the 90s. Oh, it kind of fits because Spongebob was made in the 90s, right? Oh. Thriving and then continued into the early 2000s like a lot of the trends we're gonna be talking about today I didn't wow, plan any of that That I've was <laughs> Today we are talking about 90s trends specifically clothing trends What's your favorite trend, Woods? Well, I'll, I'll get to you. I'll get to you 90s trends of fashion have made a really big comeback um, in the fashion world of today. It's funny how fashion trends just kind of cycle. And here we are in 2019, and the 90s are in full swing. I am going to be going around to a few of my coworkers, asking them what their favorite clothing trend from the 90s is. And then later, I am going to be going to a thrift store and trying to find and recreate yeah. What create and recreate and recreate these trends? One of those like Mickey Mouse watches. Yeah, those yeah. were dope. And then my favorites were the uh, jean jackets with like the the paint on them. People yeah, would, like design them. The, and, like, the, the denim look. On them and the stuff. custom denim Dude, grunge that denim, look. Yes, that that denim grunge. That feels like a look that's very on brand for you. Yeah, it's because it's I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Another hit from the 90s. <laughs> I don't want your tissues. So the 90s. <laughs> the 90s. 90s. Tensions were high in America. Riots were everywhere. No, 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 no. Stop. 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 So the 90s, what so was your 90s. favorite trend from the 90s? Do you remember those? <laughs> the 90s? Disclaimer, I was technically born in the 90s. <laughs> I don't want to be that person, but it's true. People, I was born in the 90s, and so, I, but I was still raised with things from the 90s. I feel like things from the 90s, like TV shows, toys and everything, like I had Tamagotchis, I had born in London, but I was only there for three years. When were you born, Sam? 99. I never claimed to be a 90s kid. I'm just saying that I was raised with things from the 90s. I have so many older siblings who were all raised in the 90s that like I was still surrounded by it. What was your favorite part about that one year in the 90s Yeah, please for you? tell me. I don't have any memories of 1999 <laughs> because I was a child. <laughs> what was your favorite clothing trend from the 90s? Because you were so alive and well. Probably, I really like the distressed look. Yeah. That everybody was going for it was yeah. like really grungy, like distressed. Jeans yeah, I feel like you guys like both have the same. On. So yeah. you like the mom jeans, but the cool mom jeans. Yeah. Because like, you're a cool mom. No, distressed mom jeans is where it's at. I still wear those today. Well, because that's the whole point is that all these trends are still alive and well today. One of my favorite trends from the 90s that has definitely made a comeback today scrunchies. Super simple and I've been wondering how to make a no so scrunchie for a very long time so we are also going to do that today. So now that I have an idea of things to look for at the thrift store, we got to go to the thrift store. I'm going to leave you guys in the car and vlog inside on my phone for a little bit. I've tried filming in a Goodwill before and hit or miss experience. This is a lot more obvious than this. So And we are back in the car. I found a pair of jeans. The only thing is that I have a no clue if they're gonna fit. Couldn't find Woods a denim jacket. They had literally no denim jackets. Okay, well they did have one, but it was an extra small. So what I did, this also was a 90s trend, denim jacket vest type deals. So that's what I'm going to do for Woods' 90s trend. Found some cute pants for scrunchy material. I just need to grab some paint brushes and some paint from Hobby Lobby to do the back of Woods' jacket. So let's go and then let's go back to the office. Okay, welcome to craft floor time with Samantha. Blue base is not fully ready for us to move back into the common office yet. 
So this is where we will be doing the crafts. I want to start out with the scrunchie. I thought that this like velvet would be a really nice scrunchie material. So for this part, I'm just going to cut a straight loop because the easiest way to do this is to have fabric that is in a circle already connected. So for this part, you're just going to need a circular anything really and flip your fabric inside out like so. Then you're just going to take a hair tie. I feel like you kind of get the idea. This is the no sew method to making a scrunchie. Take a line of hot glue, flip it in to make a nice seam, and then hot glue that together. And you're gonna do that all the way around the edge. And it doesn't have to be even. I mean, it's all gonna look scrunchy in the end anyways. I'm nervous to take it off, even though I know that like all the glue is already dried. There you go, there's your scrunchie. That was honestly, way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Really cute, look at that. Okay, time to wear it. I just made a scrunchie. What, for real? I just made a Dude, scrunchie. I was wondering why you had those. How did you do that? Like, it That's was- That's really cool, actually. I'm not even kidding. This was like the quickest thing ever. Here, wait, hold this. Okay. The easiest thing I've ever done. For I cool. have so much fabric, I can make like 12 of these Dude, now. That's actually like, that's legit. I wasn't gonna show anyone any of the final products until like the end, yeah. but like I was excited about this one. I was like, yeah. look, it's a scrunchie. <laughs> and we are back down in Sam's little craft corner. I know it's a little unorganized. Cut me some slack, okay? We're moving. I am just going to distress these jeans. Also, they're guest jeans, so shout out to Goodwill, cause that's great. Also, quick shout out to Lore DIY because I actually, I didn't know she had a line of craft tools in Hobby Lobby. She actually had one specifically for distressing denim. So that's great. Did I need all of these things necessarily? No, but I wanted to try this. I thought it was, I thought it was kind of cool, but this is what I was really excited by. It's like a steel brush to like, Okay, we have a lot of tools in here. These are these are long jeans. I mean, those are some long legs. I have some long legs, but I don't know if mine are that long. I'm going to kind of try and pinpoint where the knees are gonna be and then do a slit on the knees, some high on the thigh as well. There's this other trend that I felt like would really fit like designs on the little butt pockets. So we already have the guest thing here and I'm not gonna ruin that. I felt like just doing a big white star right here would look kind of cool. Cause also like a star for totally trendy, you know? So I thought I was recording that, but I didn't. But I did a star and I actually really like it. I am doing the denim jacket painted look right now. Like I said earlier, couldn't find a full one. So we're gonna have to go with this. But I want to first do a uh, I'm a mess. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. So I first want to just do some like white brush strokes and then I'm going to have like the Woods logo go across right there. Like strokes mainly because I want this to dry quickly. I want the longer strokes to be in the center. This makes me want to paint in like every piece of denim I've ever had. I'm already wearing the pants. Um, they most definitely don't fit, but I feel like if anything that makes them look even more 90s because of how baggy they are, I'm not gonna show you them yet. I'm gonna save that for the final look and the final reveal when I walk around and show everyone these 90s items. First, I need to finish the woods jacket. This is what is going to go on there. And it is in white. I'm going to just do shadowing with a black Sharpie and kind of outline it real quick. And then I will fill it in with white. Or at least that's the plan. Uh, we'll see. My name's Sam, I vlog and do videos and stuff and wear a ponytail, oh my gosh. I don't want to toot my own horn, but like, look at how cool that turned out. I kind of want this for myself, but it says his name on it, so. <laughs> Let's put it all on. I know you can already see the scrunchie. And then go to the people we went to at the beginning of the video and get their opinion on these 90s trends. Right now I'm waiting for Woods and Rose. Was that them? <laughs> Your face. She looks like such a little kid. I literally tried to Aww, wait, wait. Oh shoot! <laughs> this is for you. Dude. Like they didn't Dude. have a denim jacket, so I need I That's need to see you so in it. Dope. Isn't it cute? I already showed her, but like made the scrunchie, distressed the pants, put a star on the butt. Nice. Cause like that's a nineties thing, right? Yeah. Sure. Butts yeah. and stars. Do a Spain. Do another Spain. 
in the 90s like i'm sam <laughs> but i look like a freaking like 14 year old yeah you look like a... straight out of full house we've got to do like a intro for you yeah. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> pass by like I'm just trying to do it on those things. Yeah. These things happen in these goofy sitcoms like this, you know? Cue oh, laugh track. <laughs> I'm Sam! Oh, that was gross. So good, in though. the best way. <laughs> You're gonna do a kids' bob commercial, bro. <laughs> I'm what? <laughs> No, no. You gotta no. do it again. Yeah. Make it more like poppy. Sam, I'm stuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this worth it? I'm Woods. <laughs> ah, I'm Woods. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, there's a good shot. <laughs> oh, I can sleep. But it's the 90s. We don't get sleep in the 90s. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some inspiration for your next DIY thrift store adventure. Give us a turnaround. Yeah, your pants gotta be really tight.